confirmation of that rider out there. He's done well to get a gap here. He has. I'm not too sure who the Garmin rider is, uh, but he's not pegging this uh, man in fact, back. It's Adam Farable. Adam Farable, who was involved in this uh, very tournament last year, was the most aggressive rider overall in last year's Tour of Alberta. Stood on the final podium, and here he is being aggressive again, attacking the race. One kilometer to go. He takes the Flam Rouge, and you just never know. Adam Farable needs to make sure that they get involved behind Adam Farrell will be chased down but that is only because a couple of teams suddenly darted up for the front we had quite a bit of bad organization for a moment it's United Healthcare with three men at the front Belkin are behind we're into about 800 meters to go here Belkin then coming up with tail boss at the back of a three-man formation in the green oh but they've only got two men left already now United Healthcare with the same fate whereas Garmin are a little further back in the green jersey of the sprints leader Ramanus Navadaskas is well off the front of the peloton here. 500 meters to go, it's United Healthcare. It is Belkin. Into the 300 meters to go now. United Healthcare losing their lead out. And their man is going to go after go and go off the wheels of Tail Boss. And Tail Boss has got early again. Tail Boss has hit the front. Can they catch him behind? Tail Boss has it this time. Surely Tail Boss has got it. Tail Boss wins comfortably. All the hard work by Belkin. It was hard lines for him the other day. He went for the same tactic. He took it on early. This time, Brian Smith, nobody could get near him.